In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a second activity that you can start with a button. So here we're going to use the button that we already have. If you don't already have a button, you can just go to the side and drag a button on. Or uh, you can do it in XML. Also, if you can't find you know, this screen I'm looking at, just go down to your layout file in the hierarchy and click whatever you have. I have activity main screen, and so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to change this button to, instead of say send, I want it to say button send, like that. That's for the text. We're going to use that string resource, which if you don't already have a string resource name like that, you're going to need to make one. So in our string file under the values, we're going to change this to send, or I mean, excuse me, button, if I can spell, button send. Now this word will appear here, send, and we'll be able to see that back in here. And see now it's no longer in red. Also, we're going to add a new value onto here. We're going to add Android on click, and we're going to set that equal to send, send message, we'll say. There we go. Now we're going to add the function for this send message on click. So we're going to go to our Java and then go down to the first package or wherever your activity is. Mine was main screen. Double click that. Then in here you got to add a new line. And that line is going to be public void send message view view. We're going to obviously have to close that off. And you can import the view by clicking option enter when that little blue bar popped up. Now we need a new line inside our function that specifies an intent. An intent, well I'll show you. Um, basically it directs this click to send us to our new activity. So we're going to use this new intent. We can call this whatever we want. So let's say start new activity. And we're going to set that equal to new intent after we see this blue box here. We gotta click option enter. Then this is fine. Uh, and then we're gonna do instead of display message activity, we can change that to whatever we want, but I'll keep that like that because my new class will have that name. You might have some words in here, maybe the view or something else highlighted in red, except for this, this won't matter for now if that's red. Um, you need some imports. So just click this little triangle, open your imports. You're gonna need Android content intent, the views, and probably this just depends on what you're doing. And now we're gonna add a new line to our send message X function. Now I've added a lot of new lines, and no, you're not gonna need all of them. Some of them are just going to be for what I'm making. And what I'm making is a user will type a message in this box and click send, and that'll send you to the new activity. But so in order for me to do that, I need this edit text line. You won't need that. So you can just comment that out. You won't need this message either. You really won't need that line either. You will need start activity equals the, or start activity, start new activity, which is the same as this. Make sure those are the same. Otherwise it will be in red. You'll change this eventually to whatever our new class is when we make it. This line here you also will not need. Now we're gonna to need to make a new activity since this right here is not directing us to any activity because nothing like that exists. So what we're gonna do is go over here to Java and then find our package name. Not the second one, make sure you don't get confused. It's the first one with whatever activity you were just editing. And you're going to right click on it, or you can go up here and click File New. I'm going to right click it for now, and click New, and go down to Activity and Blank Activity. You're going to change this to Display Message Activity, or you know, whatever you want to call it, as long as it's going to be the same as what you have here. Then we'll do this. Title, we can say My Message that falls with what I'm making you know you can change it to pretty much whatever you want and then click finish now it'll build for us and you can see that we also have a new XML file and we also have a display message this is what we want to worry about so basically what you want to do in here is go down here to the on create options menu and the on options item selected menu or not why am I saying menu functions and delete all this you will not be needing that, at least for now. And got to add that part back. There we go. You also will not need this. Everything commented out. That's just for me and what I'm making. So what you're going to do 
really is only need nothing really as long as everything here you know obviously keep these commented out is really just this line and whatever class you're referencing and the start activity line and that's about it so now when we run it it'll open activity every time you click the button 